Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in again. Um, this video I want to show you um, the laptop T Lenovo ThinkPad T450S. Um, it's a two year old or three year old laptop but it's constantly heating or um, overheating. So uh, this is not a video about solution but I want to let you show you the inside and how do I clean the laptops. So uh, let's go ahead and open it. You have to remove the battery of course. I already unscrewed every point I could find here. So make sure you have that correctly. And then I usually start, I usually start at this side. So I set it on this side. You should use tools if you have it. But since I already opened this one, um, it should be fairly easy to remove the cover. There we go. Now, as you can see, um, there is some dirt here, so I'm going to clean it all off. Um, here too. And it's constantly overheating and um, blue screening. Uh, also, so I've been told that the uh, memory card isn't good anymore uh, According to Windows debugging, I didn't do, do a test, but like you, like you see it's full of dust It goes everywhere with me on the road and it's been through a lot actually um, So let's clean this up first um, I've got some air duster cleaner here for taking off all the dust bits and I'm gonna get my brush too I get a, a paint brush I don't have a use for painting of course but a clean cream paint brush so I can remove every little corner of dust also so let's go ahead and start with the air duster that's the best way to start I think so let's see Dust is not your friend if it comes to air cooling. Always hold the fan, don't let it spin fast because of the air pressure. And I spent more time little bit more time on the air duct here than on the rest because that's important okay let me show you something why I'm cleaning it I don't know if you're gonna see it but um, here I don't know if you can see it here and on the other speaker it's a little bit I don't know it's some fine metal that's collecting in the speakers because it's a sort of a small magnet inside here and that's why you know you have to clean it because yeah it's it builds up and hopefully little bit more sound of it a little bit better cooling um, like I said it was overheating constantly um, and it was mostly about ab ab above the uh, CPU of course here and the RAM so I've been told the RAM is bad so I'm gonna remove it in a minute and see if there's something I can do with it now let's get back to the air duct here because I don't think it's still clean yet keep in mind it's cold it will dissolve because it's in my duster so let's go ahead and get my brush It 
just a brush what I use to remove dust from my keyboard so should be fine to go and do all of the components here Push D. air duster can't reach or can't remove you can remove it with the brush Okay, let's see, memory is faulty, it says, let's see if there's something, we probably can't see if there's something wrong. What I'm going to do is, there is some dust here. Once you remove this lot, give it a good cleaning here. And put back the slot, memory slot. I can use okay um let's see if everything is still fixed in if you can turn these screws then it's not fixed in so that's good that's no problem there we go that's the basic cleaning uh, don't mess anything around with the rest so keep in mind that it's still a component that you have to ask in order to remove or replace um i've been reading the overheating could be a problem with the motherboard already updated a few firmwares bios firmwares and still getting a lot of um, overheating um, and sometimes it's creepingly slow uh, i don't know if i'm running too much just one sql server on there and a few vms but this vm just isn't always running yeah, in the, okay, in the side here, you should be looking for more dust. Yeah, there's some more, okay. So that's it. Um, let me give you a quick overview. Uh, of course, you get the battery, inside battery, you get an external battery here too. You get the ventilator here. The memory slot you can change or expand only one the other side is on the motherboard uh, the Wi-Fi and the GPRS card here is inside you get let me see it's somewhere I oh, know this one this model doesn't have it sorry um, yeah you can switch out the uh, SSD uh, disk just as a D not uh, M2 or NVMe so that's just you need to buy a new laptop and docking ports let's see you can't lift this no and that's it so let's put it back together that's easy you just click it back on oh right if you remove it, the, the screws, the front screws fall out. The rest of the screws don't, so you can't remove those. Let's just click that back in there. Let's see if it's everything fine. Yes, and then screw back in all the points here. So that's all five of them and then the other three in the front and put that 
battery. There we go. And I'm hoping it won't overheat so much anymore. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, if you have points that you should use this or that for better cleaning, leave a comment too for the other view YouTube viewers. That's fine. Um, yeah, if you uh, like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.